Hello folks, today I would like to welcome you to the strange and extremely difficult and skilled area of pan hacking. As you can see here on the bench, we have Elon here giving his charge port a bit of a workout. And he is doing that in response to a can log that we're playing back to him from a vehicle that... Uh, Somebody captured where they, well, they pressed the button on the dash that said, Elon, open the charge port door, please. And as we can see, he's busily doing that as we loop that can log back. We have a list of all the can IDs here. So, how do we find the ones that he really needs? Well, it's a very difficult process. And you will not understand this at all, ever. So, on that note, let me ask you, has anyone watching this video ever had to find a bad cylinder on an internal combustion engine? And if so, how would we do that? Well, the simplest way to do is to disconnect each spark plug in turn. And when the note of the the engine doesn't change that's when we know that we have a bad cylinder correct we've got a list of can messages here and we're switching off each can me me message waiting for the note of the charge port to not change they're bad cylinders and we don't need them. Allow me to demonstrate. Elon here is busily cycling away and we are going to try cylinder number 2D1. We're going to switch that cylinder off which I have just done and let's see if something changes. It does because the door is no longer cycling which means that 2D1 is a good cylinder. Let's turn that back on. Don't make a fool out of me, Elon. Come on. See, there he goes. 2D1 is a good cylinder. Let's try cylinder number two, 321. We've now turned off cylinder number 321. Runs fine. That's a bad one. And folks, this is the extremely difficult, extremely technical and extremely complicated world of can hacking. Like I said, don't even try this. You haven't got a prayer. You need to be a super genius, just like me. If you can tick a box with a mouse, you can hack can. That's all we have for you today. This is a quick little video. I uh, wanted to answer this question because it's been popping up in a lot of different places. So I will leave you there as I look for bad cylinders. As always, don't forget to dislike, do not share, unsubscribe yourselves from this stupid channel as quickly as you possibly can. And until we see you next time, God, I am confused today. Until we see you next time, do check the links in the description for the usual suspects. And uh, that's it for now. And happy, happy misfire detection. <laughs>